Hi, I'm Scott McKenzie. Thanks for watching. I'm from Takapuna District Cricket Club and we're just doing a quick interview here. I'm interviewing Mike McCarthy, who's our competition manager for the Kookaburra Cup. It's a new initiative that the club started this year. So, Mike, what is the Kookaburra Cup? Okay, the, the Kookaburra Cup is essentially Friday night cricket, Scott. Um, it's for years one through to four um, and it provides development and skills, skill-based training for kids and we also provide some great, well-organised matches um, for, yeah, for, for that, year, for years three to four. Group. So that's great. So Friday night, what time does it start? Is it five o'clock? OK, so you can come down and practice if you like uh, beforehand, but the game starts sharply at 5.30. Um, so what you can do, the great thing about it is that you can come down and get your practice out of the way on a Friday afternoon, um, and then they can get their games out of, out of the way um, and then come back to the club for a, for a drink and... Um, Right, and, so and relax on a Friday night. Are all the kids mm. doing the same thing? Um, yeah, good question. What we've done is we've split our year one to twos uh, into a development squad, which is coached by Mark Farmer, our club captain, and Aaron Watson. Actually, you know more about those guys than I do. Yeah, Aaron's yeah. Uh, here for his second season. He's our club professional. He does a lot of this type of coaching over in the UK, and he's come back again. So we've enlisted mm. his help for the Kookaburra Cup, which is really a huge asset for us. And Mark yeah. Farmer, of course, he's just come back from the UK. Uh, he's a coach as well. Mm. And last week we had uh, Mariska Cornett, from, who's a Netherlands international player, helping out, and Lauren Downs was here as well, who's one of our top uh, female batsmen. Um, right, yeah, right. It was, it was great to see. So Takapuna, I guess, is all about getting our prems involved. We're very, uh, our club, um, our, our junior club and our senior club are, are, are all one, um, and we've got a lot of really keen volunteers that want to give back to cricket. So what we've done with Kookaburra Cup, we've enlisted their help to help run games and help develop kids, because it's about developing their skills at this early age where they are so much more receptive to learning. So it's not necessarily about winning the games, it's about developing skills because that's what you're going to remember rather than the games that you've won in five years' time. Right, so, so then the other kids yeah. are over on the side at years three and four, they're playing games that are, I notice are really well organised, they seem to have a pitch manager yep. and people helping out with the scoring, so it's not all up to the parents but a lot of parents getting involved as well. Absolutely. So it's, it's, it's making it easy for parents. It is a Friday night, so some of you are tired. You want to come along, maybe, you know, just sit down and relax and watch a bit of cricket. And you the can bar's do open. That. The bar's open. The Jester's um, Pie Van. Jester's Pie Van. We've got a sausage sizzle. It's great, you know, and, and also we've got... Um, Tell us about the cap. uh, caps. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when you register, you get a free cap with an, your own embroidered club number on the back of it. Now, this is, um, this is great because it's really awesome. We did some um, prize giving the other day, some spot prizes, so you just yell out the numbers. Um, and also, more importantly for us as a club, it allows us to, uh, I guess, uh, um, uh from us to track them? Yeah, for, for, yeah, to track them and to actually provide some statistics. I know it's a bit kind of um, full on for kids at this, this age, but it really does allow us to see um, how well kids are going. I can tell you, oh, Mary, how many wides she bowled all season, so we can actually look at these stats and, and say, right, she needs some help. Excellent. So in the past, what we've done is we've given these kids a team and we've given them a parent helper and... You know, we give them a kit bag to go away with at the start of the season, and we don't see them until until prize giving or photos. Yep. So this whole concept allows the kids to be embraced by a club. It allows parents to be a part of a club um, where we can nurture our kids and, and give them skills for life. Excellent. Can you still register now? You can still register now. Um, the, we're going to keep uh, we're keeping registrations open, uh, and they're starting to go on a wait list now. So we need we need to get full teams before we can add them to the competition. Um, yeah. Excellent, but years one and two, they just join into the development squad, they come straight in. Absolutely. And they seven weeks, seven nights before Christmas, mm -hmm. and then term one next year starts up again. So register now for term one as well. Register now for term one. We've actually got half of our registrations full already for term one. Oh, so excellent. yeah, those that have only registered for term four do register for term one. All right, so um, keep liking yeah. the Facebook page. We'll do more of these interviews and our website as well. So thanks very much for watching. Bye. Cheers.